So when I start to look at this type of products, I'm, I want on to, to see uh, the history of the product and so uh, I will explain you the market of these products, so Primodos. In France, so... Uh, <coughs> I don't know how to do it. Here. Yeah? Yeah, good. Okay. So, uh, I made a sort of archaeology of the, the hormone and the market of the hormones. So, after the Second World War, the big companies who produce hormones um, start mixing them up. So, mixing estrogen and progesterone and testosterone. And one of the products that they produce, so a mix of estrogen and progesterone, could induce um, menstruation in women, artificially. And so in 1984 in France, the first product, Synagon, was made to, to produce this, this effect, this menstruation, and that's what's called the Zondek method. <coughs> then uh, I'm, I was looking at the other products in France and everywhere that has the same objective. And so, as you can see, in every country around the, royal, the world, um, some companies produce this pregnancy test. So, and in Europe, there, was four, there were four major companies. So, a French one, Roussel, that you have been talked about. Uh, Schering, here, uh, in Germany, in Netherlands, Organon, and in Switzerland, Siba. Every, each of them sells, sell those products everywhere in the world uh, through different means. If Duogino has disappeared since then, those types of products still exist today uh, through different kinds. i show you one, so this one, was sold for enceinte, it means pregnant. So this one was sold in Switzerland, and today it's still sold in some third world countries. But not for pregnancy tests, obviously. So then I tried to, to see how those products, those pregnancy tests, has evolved through times, so they change their names, they, they change the molecules, and they have changed the way you, take, you took them. So first, the hormones, you can took the hormones only with injections, and progressively uh, it was transformed uh, in tablets that you can eat, and so the type of molecules has slightly changed. So in France, for example, the first sharing product was Proluton, and then the name changed to Duogino, and then to Primodos. In different countries, the same product has different names. So in France, Lutoginestril is the same thing as Amenoron uh, in English countries. It's exactly the same product inside. And so Lutogenestril appears in France in 1951. And after that, it appears in other countries. Then those tests or those products for the Zondek method um, can contain two types of progestagens. Uh, so it's a normal. Um, one is derived from testosterone, and the other one is derived from progesterone. In France, uh, some research have pointed out, the, uh, have pointed out that um, the derived product from 
progesterone was safe, but the derived product from testosterone was unsafe, or is there was a link that is higher. So that's all the products that they were on the market. And in France, there were like 40, 14 products different for this pregnancy test. The second part of my, my expose will um, show you that in France, this history of the, pregnancy, the hormone pregnancy test hasn't appeared as a major public problem since now because of some different reg regulations as we have seen in England. So why? Three points. First one, because <coughs> French state has a major administration for the regulation of drugs since 1941, so in the Vichy period. So. Second of all, um, French regulators uh, hate, hated um, hormones because they were supposed to be a mean to abort, and the French politicians doesn't want that at all. It was a, a French states want baby and must wants it many babies, so it has to stop everything about abortions. So either way. Pregnancy test was suspect because it was supposed to put an early mean for the woman to have an abortion. And then it was suspect because it was composed of hormones who were also supposed to be abortifacients. Despite that, in France, those products were sold for the first reason, as you have seen, so to treat amenorrhea. I have many clues that those products were used for other things as pregnancy tests, for example. But it was quite never marketed as such, only in the first half of the 50s and in the second half of the 60s. What is interesting for us now, but I don't know how, is that Lutoginestril, so Roussel Amenoron in France, wasn't sold after 1967 in France. So why? I haven't a clue for this. I suppose that the French state, uh, with his fight for against abortions, stopped this product in France, uh, but Roussel still sold it in other countries. So a studies in the 80s found out that 10% of women of certain hospitals in France have taken this kind of product for pregnancy testing, even if it was hiding, highly suspicious. So the, the possibility that information circulates between women was evident. That's all.